For this demonstration, we're going to show you how to connect your microbit to an Android phone or tablet using the microbit blue app. A few things we need to do to get started before actually pairing our microbit is one, on our phone or tablet, we are going to need to download the microbit blue app. After installing the microbit blue app, we will then need to go ahead and download the Bluetooth hex file found in activity 2.3 get connected challenge to our microbit. Now to save time, we've already gone ahead and installed the app and we've also downloaded the program or our hex file to our microbit. The next thing we will need to do is to go ahead and pair our microbit with our phone or tablet. In order to pair our microbit, we first need to put that in pairing mode. We're going to do that by holding down the A and B button together while holding the reset. We will then release the reset while still holding A and B until pairing comes across the screen. So by holding the A and B button, pressing the reset, release the reset until pairing comes across the screen. This has now put our microbit into pairing mode. From our phone or tablet, we're going to need to navigate to our settings, to our Bluetooth connections, and here you should see that your microbit should now be discoverable. We'll go ahead and select microbit, B, microbit, and you can see that on our microbit we now have a check mark showing that it has been paired. From there, we can now go to our microbit blue app. So by exiting, we're going to go to our microbit blue app. On my microbit, I'm going to go ahead, open up microbit blue. I'm going to select find paired BBC microbits and you should see that your microbit has now been bonded. Selecting your microbit, it should discover services. On the microbit, it will tell you that it is connected. And if everything works correctly, it should tell us that it is ready. Now, in some, some cases, our services do get interrupted and there is some troubleshooting that you may have to do to get them to connect. If everything has worked correctly, we should be able to select one of the services, like accelerometer, your accelerometer will show up on your phone or tablet and by moving the micro bit, we should see it actually move on the phone or tablet. So this is showing us which way the direction of the micro bit is moving. Now by going back, we can also take a look at the buttons. And here we can see by hitting one of the buttons on the micro bit, it should light up on our phone or tablet, A button, B button, or even AB together. Another service that you have is your LEDs where in this case we can use our phone or tablet to control the micro bit. So by selecting different LED points, we can then go ahead and set that to display on our micro bit. We can also go ahead and set, ten, set text to scroll as well. There's many different services that you can use with your micro bit as IO digital input and output where we can connect LEDs or any type of input and output to be controlled by flipping our switch. All we would need to do is to connect those services or those pins to the appropriate input and output. This is how you connect your microbit to your microbit blue app.